Hello. <clears throat> All right, so I am um, on the way to go pick up the sweet baby that I am babysitting this week. She is at cheer practice, so I'm going to pick her up from cheer practice. Sitting up in this not so good traffic, just ridiculousness on top of ridiculousness. Um, but while I'm doing that, I'm chewing on some bubble gum. And I got juicy fruit this time um, because it has like the real sugar instead of the aspartame or what, however you say it, I don't know. And chewing gum seems to work some a lot actually when it comes to helping to digest my food. Um, so that heartburn won't be a biggest issue. But I've been frustrated because I've been trying different things with the papaya enzymes. I feel like um, they do work, but I also feel like I, I get it still pretty often. Like, I don't nearly get it as many times as, you know, I used to, or if I didn't take them, I would get, like, more harsh heartburn or reflux. But, you know, um, I'm getting a little frustrated because I feel like I'm trying to take them the right way. But I feel like I'm taking them like candy. <laughs> I don't want to take this stuff like candy. It's still medicine in my book. So um, tonight, um, I'm going to go by a health food store and pick up some probiotics. And hope that the probiotics... Oh, it's so dusty. But anyway, hope that the probiotics help when it comes to, you know, cleansing my stomach or kind of getting rid of some things in my digestive tract that need to be gotten rid of and then I will still take the uh, papaya enzymes as well to see how well that does and see if they can kind of balance out things but it's just getting frustrating because you know of course you want to eat whatever you want to eat you don't want to have to take precautions and doing the other medicine will be just so much easier to pop an, a mesoprol um, in my mouth and be done for the whole day instead of having to take the papaya enzyme every single meal even snacks but I gotta figure out something now because it's getting I will say that my voice again it's it's not getting nearly as much as it could get if I were not taking the enzymes I know that it would be a lot more stomach acid that would be coming up and it would be doing a lot more than just you know feeling a slight burning sensation in my chest or slight burning sensation in my uh, throat it would definitely be coming back up and I would be feeling it hit my vocal cords a lot more uh, than what it is now. And I don't really feel it hit my vocal cords unless I don't take the papaya enzyme. If I just decide to say, oh, I'm not going to take it. I'm just going to see what happens. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. I always do that. Oh, I'm just going to take it and just see if I can get away with this meal. Okay. So that's when that happens. And, it, and I, I can physically feel really reflux hit it. It's like something, like I put my hand on something that's hot and you feel it hot when you pull back you still feel the scald of the hotness that's how it feels on my throat I'm mean, excuse me on my vocal cords in the back of my throat when it comes up I feel it like it goes um and I feel the burn still there it's not nearly as it would be as if the you know there was the acid just you know a big gob of it sitting on my vocal cords but I definitely feel the burning sensation after it's done its duty so I'm gonna be praying about what to do um, and, I, and I feel like through this fast, God is going to reveal some things to me anyway. Especially when it comes to doing like my small group or doing worship leader or whatever the case may be. And then AMTC, he's going to reveal some things to me. And I'm hoping that as a part of this journey with understanding what my voice is going to do, I'm hoping that he will also reveal to me more ways or if there's something I'm doing wrong, help me be able to rid myself of doing the wrong so that I don't have to continue to experience um, the negative effects of what, you know, the acid reflux is doing. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I did practice on piano today. About 40 minutes. I know on uh, guitar, probably about 25, 30 minutes. I feel like if I do it every day, it's pretty good. I still condition my fingers, and maybe in my mind, I'm the only psycho in the world that like condition her finger by pushing her nail into her finger so that it will get hard <laughs> but to me it's been working because is you know i'm able to kind of go through my cords a whole lot faster without cringing or 
you know, wanting to cry because of the pain or the sharp pain of feeling the string go into my hand or go into my finger. So it's getting better. And that's even on my little pinky finger too. This one's still a lot more sensitive because I don't use it nearly as much, but I'm using these three a whole lot more now. So I have been conditioning them quite a bit, especially my pointing finger or my index finger. And when it comes to singing, um, I listen to some recordings or listen to myself back. And what I'm noticing is that there, are, I, I, I'm going to try to, okay, so this might sound crazy, but I'm just going to try to see what, it happen, what happens. I'm going to go through and find songs where they're in that middle voice that saying that um for me i feel like i have to choose between my white area or my black area but they're in gray i'm gonna choose songs that are kind of in that gray area and mimic almost exactly or act, if i can exactly like the singer is singing it and listen carefully to how she's singing it or he is singing it in order to understand how my placement's supposed to be so um, if I can just get the placement, then I definitely can just incorporate my own style or my own voice. But I'm going to do my best to mimic what that singer is doing in order to feel how it, feel, it may feel coming from their mouth. And then also being able to hear how uh, strong it sounds, then I'll be able to find that place in my voice that it sounds strong, but it also feels okay. So that's what I'm kind of working through now. So yeah, we're and, and you know, with piano today, um, I've basically just been listening to the clips, and then what I will do is just listen very closely to if it's like an octave or if it's just like two notes in it with like octaves in the left hand, and try my best to closely match exactly what is happening in the recorder. So it's kind of like I'm using my voice to do the same thing as I'm asking my piano or yeah, using my fingers to do for piano. So. We'll see how that goes and continue to log the progress. And one day it's all going to pay off. I just knows it. I just know it. I just know. But anyway, we pay attention in this traffic and hopefully I won't be in it too much longer. Oh, this is so ridiculous. Look at it. Look. I don't know if you can see all this, but this is just like ridiculousness. All ridiculousness. All right. Well, um, today is Thursday. January the 25th, yes, because tomorrow is the 26th, um, 2018, so this is 25th, it's probably about almost 6.30 now, or actually almost 6, not 6.30, so yeah, made it down here pretty good timing, I will talk to you later, bye.